Hello everybody, this is Doug Friend, Historical Board Gaming. We're here at uh, down in my office, uh, making a video to give you some updated information on all the Global War games. But before I do that, I wanted to, to know to go to my website, go to historicalboardgaming.com, and make sure you look at the news section. The news section shows all the items that are basically new that we've got. We do it weekly, so you'll see the dates there. And you can click on them. They're all hyperlinked, and they go to different, you know, sections of the website. And, you know, there's a lot of things on the website to explore. I think recently we opened up all, all our battle labels, five different ones you can choose from. And they've been real popular. Uh, you can also, um, you know, use your reward points for them as well. So... Uh, make sure you check that out and also like like the video subscribe to it that way um, you know you're always updated with the latest and greatest on our YouTube channel uh, we're gonna have a lot of new things and this is mainly on global war I'm gonna go through the global war games and um, talk about each one uh, I got a little cheat note here uh, cheat cheat just to make sure I'm, I'm staying focused here 1936 v4 uh, been working on that for two years now uh, play test uh, you've seen the video from the designer on how he went about it if if uh, you haven't seen it go to our YouTube channel there's a section uh, a playlist for v4 and uh, this um, video is on there to check it out but um, we are gonna be putting the rules and the reference sheets on the website today so uh, right now it's hidden but when I get off I'm gonna unhide it and that way you can see it and download the rules. What we're asking you guys to do is go through the rules and the reference sheets and see if there's any problems uh, or things uh, jiving with each other. Uh, make sure that the rules, you understand them. Are they clear? You know, the clarity should be there. They've been gone through, scrutinized, and um, we're, we're really, really proud of these rules. Mort Monk, who's the lead designer for V4, Matthias, and a couple other guys uh, are worked really, really hard on this, and I think you're really gonna be happy with it. So the map and all the play aids and everything is in production, and, um, well, I would say production, they're getting worked on. So we hope to have it out by, well, we hope to have it out by this summer, and it will be up by this summer. So it, it, it was quick. Uh, once he's like, okay, it's done, we'll get it get it finished up. I think you'll 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 really like it. I'm and I don't know. If, I'm going to be putting maps behind me as I talk about each one if we have the map. So uh, I think you'll be happy with it. But yes, please. Uh, uh, I, I've got on there to send it to Doug at historicalboardgaming.com, and I'll forward it to the designer, and uh, we'll get everything answered and fixed that way when we do release it it's as near perfect as it can be i think v4 uh, is we hope this to be the goal is v4 will be the last map for 1936 and we've been putting them out every couple years updates we do not want to put a new one up for a while uh, i'm not saying it will be the last one but it probably won't it, it definitely won't be out in two years so if we do upgrade v4 to v5 it'll be five years down the road uh you know just uh if there's some things we want to add fix or whatever things like that so there you go on v4 I, i'm hoping that you guys will like it and i'm sure you will it's got a lot of it's streamlined it's better uh, the map's going to be great. Right now, behind it is the playtest map. It's not final art, just playtest map. But it's got all the uh, change C zones, things like that. So, and I'll get something on the website. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna get, get get a picture of it, uh, if, you know, probably next week, and that way you can at least see it. Okay, nineteen fourteen. Who nineteen fourteen? That's that's been a thorn in our side here at HBG. It's just been such a massive game, and and just you know, just like all the other global war games, it just had so much going on. Um, um, like I said, I threw a monkey wrench in it a uh, year year and a half ago. Uh, changed a few, changed several things, and uh, Bob Hatcher has taken over that, as well as with Brian Primrose, Jane Ryan Grenade, you know him as, uh, helping Bob. 
and uh, they've got it. I mean, it's it's finished. It's been play test, play test, finished and things, finishes that. You saw the map. Um, it's done. Uh, getting the play aids finished up reference sheets, the rules. The thing with the rules is we made some changes and there's a lot of random events in this in this one. There's like, if you do the Russian Civil War, the prequel and the core games, there's over 300 random events. So there's a lot of, like I said, a lot of moving parts in this game and uh, it's been a while to, take, uh, to do. So uh, we're hoping that uh, this gets out in, in the next few months as well. Um, it's running a little behind, but it, it is all being worked on. The map is done, getting the reference sheets finished up, rules, that good stuff. So we hope to have it out very soon as well. 36 and 14, <laughs> hopefully they won't come out at the same time, but if they do, they do. It just depends when I get things back from the artists and the various people working on them. Okay, 1928. That's a new one that a lot of people don't even know we were working on. Uh, Will Henson, lead designer, who designed the first uh, 1936 V2, and um, he also designed uh, Global War Meltdown and a lot of expansions. You see his name on a lot of things. So he did a 1928. It's an alternate history game. Um, it's got some very unique items in it. Um, we are looking to 28. We've, we're kind of stretched thin here at HBG. We're needing some play testers. So we've got it loaded on Tabletop Simulator and uh, we need some people to play test. And not just to play the game, we need people who are dedicated for you know a good, uh, I'm gonna say six months to a year. Just depends how much you play it and how well you can get information back to us. Will makes changes to the rules, little things like that, and we get things updated in the map, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so if you're interested in playtesting 1928, and you got some experience with, you know, playtesting games, playtesting is just not playing. It's figuring things out, how to make it work, what's not working. All this information, you know, has to be written down so we can send it, give it back to the designer and we get it updated and you continue to play it on TTS. You know, we'll update the map, update the sheets, whatever it takes. So send uh, an email to Doug at historicalboardgaming.com and we'll get uh, get some people playing 1928. It's kind of a neat ship. It's got some airships, uh, you know, heavy, heavy tanks, heavy ships. Everything is like Washington Tree was ignored. So you got the big battleships, you got uh, cruiser uh, carriers, you know, the hybrids, the large tank, artillery, uh, seaplane bombers, uh, two, three kinds of airships, uh, basically a carrier airship, a battleship. And so it's an alternate history. It's not for everybody. Uh, it's going to be a down and dirty game. Uh, territories are a little larger, not as big as a, uh, not as big as uh, global war meltdown, but not as small as um, 36. It's kind of in between still favoring the, the global series but um yeah so 1928 global war okay 2025 meltdown we've got some new add-ons coming uh say like neutral um rondel set we've got coming i have uh i went to a couple weeks ago i went to uh bbr in st louis drove up there uh, saturday afternoon got to spend the rest of saturday into the evening with the dinner I uh, went to dinner with uh, Detroit, been talking to him for a long time, just finally got to meet him and his partner and got to talk to uh, Dustin and uh, talk to um, uh, Rich and Chris Noble and some old friends I used to play games with. So yeah, I got to meet a lot of new uh, guys and of course guys who who are, you know, buy from HBG and customers of HBG and now I, I know who they are. and. It was really neat, so it was a lot of fun. And uh, of course, the chaplain, who was Rob Prather, who, who was hosting it, I got to meet him, talk to him, talk to him, but I've never met him in person. So it was it was a lot of fun. But um, I have a guy that says, you know, he's Dustin, uh, 2025, he's doing a lot of neat things and he wants to really add some, some really neat uh, add-ons and some, you know, things that, I don't know if you saw the cyber, 
chart that we uh, Chris Atkins had proposed and we put it up there and and then Dustin said hey I think we could do you know let's add this and that to it and let's do this to this and so you're going to see some new things come out with uh, Meltdown um, and some add-ons so look out for that in the next uh, week we'll have so, some simple things and even more uh, uh, expansions things like that so there you go on that one uh, Global War 1805 uh, we got a group, um, Johnny Galvez, Mike Kelly, uh, heading that up with, with a couple other guys, uh, some designers working on that one. And uh, it's progressing. Uh, it's come along. We've got a uh, preliminary map uh, working out combat and neutrals and treaties and all that good, you know, all the good items that you need in the game. So, you know, it, it definitely won't be out this year. We're hoping uh late next year so we'll see on that so the global war 1805 is progressing global war 1965 that one uh, was started by uh uh misha kessler uh he's been working on it coming out with um different things we can do a lot of research so he's filled up my dropbox and my trello <laughs> full of information and I told him that the more the merrier so he's got a he's got a ton of stuff a ton of information which is great so when uh, the designer uh, Bob Hatcher is going to take over uh, Misha says you know I'm not a rules writer I, I don't want to write the rules for it but he wanted to do all the other items that he's done so far and we appreciate it so Bob's going to take over in the next month or two and form it into a game and the nice thing about what Misha's done, he's got a ton of information and we're just going to trim it down. What's not going to work, uh, what we think, you know, ideas are great, but you have to make them work. I, I know if you watched Morton's videos on V V4, same thing. A lot of neat ideas, but not everything works, and even though we want them as designers in the game just because they're cool. So, but we appreciate Misha working on that very hard. And uh, so 65, again, uh, it'll be start forming in its uh, entirety It'll late next year maybe we'll see um, Global War in 1985 Admiral Seabass Chris Atkins uh, been doing a great job of course that's been uh, play testing play testing play testing and it's near near finished he's supposed to hand that off to HPG in June and uh, so it can go into art final art so that's another project that's finishing up this year. A uh, long time coming. Of course, these global games are big and uh, and a uh, lot of moving parts and they're being play tested. We just don't throw a, a map together and some play aids and stuff for you. I mean, they're thought out and, and worked out and all that. And yeah, we're not perfect on it, but uh, I think most people are enjoying the Global War 36 series uh, a game and they just love it and um, I think with all the other items that we've got coming out people are going to enjoy those as well because there's been a lot of hard work and a lot of thought put into these games and then we got a new game that Will Henson is working on is, and Will and I worked on Global War Meltdown together and then he got a little um, after he finished that, he's, he moved on to the 28 game and did that. Now he's got a open time and I asked him if we can go back to, originally we were doing the Global War 2025. It was gonna be a big global game. And then, I don't know, six months into it, we were getting all the information, sorry. Um, I decided to go to a, a quicker game and we make, that's how we came up with Meltdown. So Will said, let's do this this and he came up with meltdown but, but we still have a lot of the infrastructure for 2025 so what we're, we're doing is we're renaming it global war modern and what the goal is is to have a modern map currently as what it is today uh you know and um every two years maybe three we update the map pieces play aids things like that so you don't have to update and you can play you know, a modern game the way it is, or you know you can maybe maybe it's just a matter of adding a couple of rondels onto your map, and you'll stay updated. 
uh, we'll always have, you know, there's always new, new equipment coming out, you know, so it'll be neat. And uh, that's something we just started. Uh, we've been talking to some of the designers for some feedback on what we want. Uh, we've actually had a, I, I told a couple of people about it. I already have a couple of people who's like, oh man, I'm on board. I want to help and get some information. So uh, that's, that's happening right now. So a lot of work on that. And uh, as you can tell, there's defense treaties between everyone. And, you know, I was just talking to one of the other designers and I said, hey, it's just like, um, and you know, we all see what's going on in today's world, but you know, the U.S. has defense treaties with like say Taiwan and we have a defense treaty with Japan and we have a defense treaty with India. Uh, we have a defense treaty with, I don't know, whoever else, <laughs> Australia. And um, so the decision is, so China invades Taiwan. So does the U.S. go to war automatically? I mean, are we bound to defend Taiwan? Some people would say yes. And some people will say, well, no, we're not going to get into a, a war with China over Taiwan. So in the game, in our game, simulation, whatever you want to call it, that's the decision that has to be made as the U.S. player. And, the, and it might have ramifications. It might say that uh, uh, the U.S. player decides not to defend Taiwan and lets China just take it. Well, that might affect the U.S.'s standing in the world you know, whether you have some kind of meter or tracking, uh, you know, trust meter or something that people go, okay, the U.S. kind of went back on the word there, so it, we're going to move it down one notch. So this is the kind of stuff, that it's, it becomes very complex. I start looking at all the treaties in the world. I'm like, okay, they got a treaty and there's a treaty with this people. And they're, they're treated with them. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is like, you know, World War One, pre-World War One, where everyone's treated up and you can go to war real quick. But today, as you know, you know the decisions have to be made. You know, now whether uh, you know NATO, I think is something different. You know, it's a pretty strong treaty. I think if a NATO country, and this is just me speculating, uh, is attacked, I think everyone would go in on that. Uh, some of the other ones, I think, are a little looser. But that's part of the that's part of what the designing of the game can't be too complex how you can do it so that's what we're going through on, on 20 uh, i shouldn't say it's global war modern is what we're calling it so that's what we're looking at for that and, my, and i'm wanting to get it out next year and uh so i've already told will i'm cracking the whip on him and him and i are feverishly working on it uh a lot of times i work stuff on the evenings at home magazines writing things down so we're coming up with concepts ideas on a lot of things right now so we can get a, a structure of how we're going to do it and we've got information on who's you know what equipment's where what kind of equipment it is things like that so anyway there you go that's kind of an overview of the global war series um, we do have our black box game that will also be out in july that we have not given any information on and we will closer it's not we're not there yet uh, we want to just surprise everybody also don't forget uh, here in oklahoma oklahoma city we have a a uh, convention a gaming convention in july so check it out it's on the website um i believe it was july 23rd that weekend and uh, we'll be playing global war uh 36 uh v4 morton will be here from denmark we'll also be playing uh hopefully 1985 hopefully 1914 and, and other games that people want to play. And there'll be other uh, people there with other, you know, it's a convention. It's not just an HPG convention. We're just kind of tagging on to this convention since they've already got it all figured out and tables and hotels and things like that. So we're just grabbing the tables up and uh, we'll get, you know, playing. So mark your calendars, come to Oklahoma, Oklahoma City. So it's easy to get there. Should be relatively cheap, we hope. For everybody and hopefully see you there so again this is doug friend historical board gaming uh email me with uh, questions on you know anything and also you know please check out the 1936 v4 rules and reference sheets and we appreciate your feedback because when we do launch it in a couple months we want it perfect and we hope it to be near perfect as it is 
So, and, and the biggest thing, and we know it's gone through very, uh, um, very well. And uh, the probably the biggest thing is just if it's if it's unclear to you about how something reads, you know that's that's a question. Ask them. Uh, ask me. Send me an email, and I'll forward it. And if it's something we can improve, we'll improve it. So we appreciate it. Uh, appreciate everything you do, and uh, appreciate everything you're buying here at HBG. And, and I hope to see more of you guys like I did this last couple of weeks ago, and uh, meet more of you. Take care.